Journalist Taylor Lorenz and the online commentator behind Libs of TikTok, Kaya Reichek, sat down for a contentious conversation where Lorenz pressed Reichek on the transgender issue. Let's watch. If you eradicate transgenderism, which I believe you suggested in a post today. No, I never suggested that. Oh, okay. You reposted a post that was advocating for that. What would happen to the people that have already medically, socially completely transitioned and are leading happy lives? What would happen to them? I mean, what's your plan for, for that? If transgenderism doesn't exist, which it seems like you're, that's what you believe, what happens to all the people living happy lives as trans people? Well, it, first of all, the whole trans is, it's based on a lie. You can't change your, you can't change your gender. Okay, but. So they could, they could go live their, their, their life. I mean, I can't tell someone what to do in their, in their house. Sounds like you do want to tell people what to do in their house. I never said that. So you're totally okay with people being trans, just not as long as they're in public? No, I never said that. They could, it's, the whole thing is based off of a lie. And I think that um, the fa this lie cannot be mainstream in our, in our society. It's just, it's a lie. So when I saw this clip going viral, I was frankly surprised that uh, Chaya didn't seem more prepared to respond to what wasn't a, an especially pressing mm -hmm. or novel set of questions about the kind of end game for her brand of politics. Yes, although, I, I mean, she explained there that she wasn't saying, because Taylor said, well, what are, what are you going, you're trying to get rid of transgenderism, what about all the transgender people? And she was saying, well, I'm not, uh, what I take to be the libs of talk, talk position is that adults are gonna do whatever they want and I'm not gonna stop them. And I, now I don't have to validate what they're doing and libs of TikTok and many on the right have the position that men cannot become women and women cannot become men. So they're not gonna humor them with the right pronouns and that kind of thing. But at the end of the day, adults can and should make their own choices. That's what I got across. Right, well she says- The contentious part is about what underage people should be able to do. But that's exactly what Taylor is pressing on. She says, well, you say that you shouldn't be able, that, that people should be free to do what they want in their own houses, that people can do what they want in their own private lives, but the valence of your tweeting and your, um, you're now a, a public official in, in the Oklahoma library board, whatever it's called, seems to be contrary to that. That's a legislative body that has an effect on what people are able to do in their personal lives. And isn't that in stark contrast with these kind of stated libertarian well, ideals? Well, not, not in their personal, I mean, the you know what the public library system, what the public school system do, what policies it has, that's not in the privacy of your home, own home or just you know living your life. That's what policies should be in place for for young, for young people and for for what like for what the government's policy is if for using public resources. So those well, are contentious sure, and those will be litigated. Well, sure, but that's like me but. saying that you have a right to own a gun, but also we're going to make guns illegal. So if you can go fashion a gun out of uh, sticks and twigs or uh, you are good at metallurgy and can make one in your backyard, God bless. But if you no, say we're, like we're supporting legislation to make it illegal for doctors to allow you to transition, make it impossible for you to get your hands on the... Um, uh, the the hormones that would be required to do so, make it illegal to wear drag in public, make it you know illegal to uh, well, no, with, with have the, certain kinds of books and libraries. Then you aren't you are directly affecting how no, no, people no. can it, represent themselves in their own private spaces. I, I, I take issue with that example. I, it, no, you, you should be allowed to have guns, but you can't bring a gun into a courtroom and they're going to put up metal detectors to walk in because that's the like, no second amendment not, advocates aren't we're not advocating about for that a kind of thing. Again, well, we're, we're talking about people in their homes well, and their lives. A public library and a public allowed, school is more like no, a courtroom than says, in your personal or your private life. She retweeted um, a TikTok that said Trans transgenderism must be eradicated. And not not allowed in a courtroom, not allowed in a library, but transgenderism should be eradicated. That is a, dare I say, genocidal statement that a category of people should no longer exist. And so when um, Taylor asks what should happen to all the people who have already transitioned and currently are trans, yeah. and uh, Ch Chaya is unable to respond, I, I was frankly surprised by that. If you're gonna have the position, have the position. Say, I think they should all be killed or rounded up or deported or, you well, know, have a position. But that is the, irreducible conclusion I, of saying that a group of people that already exist in America should be eradicated, no? I, 
I don't agree that that's what she's saying. And to be clear, what, I'm just trying to I'm saying? just trying to explain what I thought her position is. I'm not giving my own position, but should they be forced the, to detransition? No, that's by one by way eliminating to see it. transgenderism, what they mean is speaking out against it and and fighting in the court of public opinion the idea that it is possible to to actually change your sex and your gender, which is something social conservatives reject. You can dress up, you can change your body, you can get surgery, you can do whatever you want to make yourself feel more comfortable, but you don't change the fundamental underlying truth that you are a man or that you are a woman. Again, I'm saying that's what their position is, I don't, to be clear. I, I, I Not that anybody being, should be forced to do that yeah. or, or, or forbidden not to at the adult level. They're, yes, they are trying to make it impermissible for people under a certain age as we no, continue to- No, at any age. They, these people have tried well, to bar- she just said she doesn't oh, want it to be- they, there have been very clear efforts to ban drag performances, period. There was that law. No, period. We, we talked about this on the show, Robbie, how there was this law that was promulgated, and I'm, I'm, I apologize, I forget what state, but it would broadly have banned any kind of cross dressing. Like Shakespearean plays put on in the yeah. traditional way. Women, we, don't you remember yeah. having those well, conversations? I, I think that's dumb. I obviously oppose it. Yeah. So. Okay. So that that is the issue that I'm, I'm frankly surprised that Chaya was so seemingly caught off guard by what seemed to be very kind of like. Mm -hmm. Not, I don't mean superficial in a way to, and as an insult to Taylor, but like just entry level questions about what the implications of some of the things that she has said on social media really are. So Lorenz went on to press Raycheck on claims that her rhetoric online has led to death threats and violence against others. Let's take a look. How do you think about the fact that, you know, so often your posts, things that you post about hospitals, libraries, schools, et cetera, um, you know, after you make these posts about them, they deal with threats, sometimes bomb threats, sometimes harassment. Um, it's, we don't know who's calling in the threats. Um, and I mean, look, bomb threats are bad. I've said that a thousand times. Um, people who call in bomb threats should be arrested and investigated. Uh, you can't call in bomb threats. Um, but I don't. I just don't know what it. What does it have to do with? Well, I guess you know. Um, a recent NBC investigation found at least 33 instances where you posted about a specific person or institution, and that person or institution was immediately bombarded with death threats and violent threats, um, including bomb threats, other violent threats. That's a pretty significant correlation. How do you, you know, what are your thoughts? Yeah, on? I don't know if you saw, but I got like tons of death threats. Um, the past this week after the entire media machine came after me. So are they responsible for those? All right, so that is continuing a conversation, obviously, we've had frequently on this show. Do let us know what you think about that and if you think that Riot Chaddock's responses were, you know, good and, yeah. and responsive. I'll be very interested, yeah, to read the comments on this one. That does it for us for today. Tomorrow on Rising, we will be back. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss any content. And for those of you who like to listen while on the go, please check us out wherever you can find podcasts. And we will be back tomorrow. Take care.